Today we're going to learn about radians. A radians is another way of measuring angle rotation. We know about uh, degrees that we learned about in the previous video, and now we're going to talk about radians. Definition of a radian is very simple. Let's have a little picture here. Uh, the idea of a radian is that if you have a circle the, uh, and you have an angle in standard position, so let's draw this angle in standard position, and let's say its radius is 1. If it intercepts an arc, and here's our arc, and let's put that in blue right here. If that intercepted arc is equal in length to the length of the radius, then that angle is considered to be 1 radian. So let's look at the second example here. So here, once again, we have an angle angle and standard position but this time the radius is 2 and let's say that uh, it intercepts an arc on the circle that is equal to length 2 maybe it's 2 inches 2 centimeters or whatever it happens to be um, therefore that angle is also 1 radian so notice that the radius doesn't have to be equal to 1 uh, it could be 2 it could be 10 it could be whatever but if the length of the intercepted arc is equal to the length of the radius, then that is considered to be one radian. So to summarize that, if an angle is in standard position, then its measure is one radian if the length of the intercepted arc is equal to the measure of the length of the radius. So here's an example. We have a circle. We have an angle in standard position. Um, we didn't draw the axes, but we certainly could. So you could imagine the axis looking like that. And the question is, well, how many radians is this angle theta? Theta is a Greek letter, and we typically use that um, in math. So let's take a look. We know that the radius is equal to 3. We also know that the length of the intercepted arc, which is right here, is equal to 6. So let's put that down. Intercepted arc. arc is equal to 6 and we learn that the 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 uh, radian is simply the number uh, uh, the length of the intercepted arc and um, um, the the radius uh, you want to find out how many radii are in the intercepted arc sorry about that so we know that one radian uh, is equal to if the radius is 3 and it intercepts an arc of 3 that would be one radian in our case, we want to divide the uh, intercepted arc or divide it by the radius to find out how many radii are in that intercepted arc. Well, the intercepted arc is 6. The length of the radius is 3. So we see that it intercepts the equivalent of 2 radii and therefore our answer is theta is equal to 2 radians. Let's do a second problem. So once again, we have an angle. And we'll call it theta. And the radius is equal to 16. The intercepted arc, as you can see from here, the intercepted arc is equal to 2. And the question is, how many radii are intercepted in that arc? Well, once again, what we want to do is divide the intercepted arc divided by 
the radius because we want to know how many radii are in that intercepted arc. Well, we know our intercepted arc is 2. Our radii length of it is 16. We can reduce that to 1 eighth. And therefore, our answer is theta is equal to 1 eighth radian. So the next natural question is to find out um, how many uh, radians in one full rotation. And we have learned a formula for that. Uh, let's draw a circle. And poof, there's our circle. And we have learned that the circumference of a circle is equal to 2 pi r, where r is the radius. I guess we should draw a radius in this circle, so let's do that. There's a radius, and that would be R. And let's make that look a little bit better. That is R, and out here is our circumference C. And once again, C is equal to 2 pi R. So if we want to know how many radii in the circumference, we would naturally have to do a division. So if we have C equals 2 pi R, and we divide both sides by R, we get the answer, once these R's cancel out, the circumference divided by the radius is 2 pi. So there are 2 pi radii in the circumference of a circle. That means there are 2 pi radians would be equal to 360 degrees because one full rotation in degrees is 360 degrees. So we have just learned a really, really important formula. So let's write this down again. I'll write it in blue here that 2 pi radians is equal to 360 degrees. That is a really important formula, and this is what you really must remember when we want to convert radians to degrees. There are two pi radians. We can put a little radians here if, to help you remember. Radians is equal to 360 degrees. We'll just rewrite that to make it a little bit better. Write it down here, two pi radians, D I A. NS is equal to 360 degrees. And you also might remember that a, a pi is equal to 3.14 approximately. So we should really write approximately. And therefore, there are 2 pi is approximately 2 times 3.14 which is approximately 6.28 radians is equal to 360 degrees.